Welcome to day 15 of 21 days of prayer. I'm so excited and so thankful for the first 14 days that we've had and the testimonies that we've already received of how God is moving. And I'm excited about the next seven days that will culminate with our 21 days. I'm excited about that. My topic today is the biblical principle of turning. There's a word that we're all familiar with and it's called repent. Repent simply means to turn direction or to make a move in a different direction. And I'm so glad that we can repent. I'm so thankful that God allowed me to do that because I was running 100 miles an hour in the wrong direction. But as the song said, God picked me up and turned me around and sent me down in, in his land, in his uh, property, so that I could continue moving with my life. If you've identified with the death, burial, and resurrection through the born-again experience, being baptized in Jesus' name, having repented, and then filled with God's Spirit, then you've already participated in that turning that takes place at repentance. At salvation, we repent and we turn from sin, and then we turn toward a life that's lived in God. And I'm so thankful for that, that we can have that turning. We turn from the old man to the new man. We turn from being lost to being found. We turn from being a sinner to being a saint in God. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And so I'm glad that we can have direction, that we can do turning when it comes to that. But this turning process that takes place at salvation, the initial turning, isn't where we stop. Because as we run this race, as we continue on in life, it's a continual turning process. Turning from the way that seemed right unto us to turning to the way that God wants us to live. Turning from the old way to the new way. Turning toward Him, toward His heart. Trying to discover His will for our lives. Paul writes in Philippians and he said, I press toward the mark for the gift of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So there is a mark that we set. There's a direction that we set our affections on. As the scripture said, set your affections on things above, not on things on this earth. There are some examples in the Bible and I'd like to use one of those examples of this turning process. It starts in 2 Samuel, the prophet Nathan, exposes David and Bathsheba's sin. And as a result, David is prompted to write Psalms 51. And when you get to verse 10, David approaches God and asks him for three things. He said, God, number one, create in me a clean heart. Number two, he says, and renew in me a right spirit and restore unto me the joy of my salvation. That creation that he's talking about, that he's asking God for, if you look at the word there, it's the same word used in Genesis where it says, and God created the heavens and the earth. So David is asking for a new environment, a new set of circumstances to kind of make the slate clean. And he does that for David and he can do that for us. And then he says, renew in me a right spirit. Because many times it's our spirit that's prompted. It's our spirit, the way that seems right to me. But David said, no, I can't have the spirit. I need your spirit. But that word that's used in renew is also the word that's used for sharpening a sword, a dull instrument. And I know I want to live on the cutting edge of life. And sometimes our life gets dull and we need God to sharpen us up and have the right spirit, his spirit leading and guiding and directing us. And then he says, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. And I'm thankful that after he's created in us and he's renewed in us the right spirit, that he will rejoice in us and he will restore the joy that passes all understanding, the peace that passes all understanding, the joy that can be in our lives. And I'm just so thankful for that. So I'm not sure where you're at today in your prayer. I'm not sure if you're making some choices that God has prompted you, that possibly maybe you need to repent of something. But I want you to know that God is willing and able to do that for you. And if you'll approach him believing, he will create in you a clean heart, renew in you a right spirit, and restore unto you the joy of your salvation. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope and pray you have a blessed day in the Lord.